Well, it's Saturday, and on this journey we've walked with Jesus. We're almost there to the greatest day of all. I just want to say thank you for taking the journey with me. Thank you for being a part of what's been an amazing thing for me. And, and I'm so thankful to hear from some of you, and, and I hope it's helped you kind of follow in this Passion Week what was going on in the life of Jesus. But today, it's Saturday. Now, I'm standing in a cemetery. This is the Dr. Phillips Cemetery. I mean, you can see it. It's absolutely beautiful. I thought, where could I go that it's the most somber, um, the most serious, the, uh, that is difficult? I mean, it, it's, it's not a happy place. And my thought was, I'll go to a cemetery. And why not? It's the place we have had to go and say goodbye. It's the place that reminds us something is missing. I mean, it's, it's that place that, that brings to, to our heart the grief that we've had to walk through or somebody that we love has gone through. And can you imagine what it was, this day was like, this Saturday was like for them? They, they weren't at a cemetery. They couldn't go to the tomb. They were waiting, just waiting. In fact, the scripture, if you take the Bible, there's very few verses that actually describe. In fact, I would say there's no verses that talk about what the women or the disciples were doing on this Saturday. Now, there's a little few verses about the Roman soldiers. And their assignment was to guard the tomb, which is an impossible task. <laughs> You mean you're going to guard the tomb of the king of the universe, the, the, literally the one who is the Lord over life and death? Good luck with that. And I don't even believe in luck, but you're going to need it to do that. They couldn't guard the tomb. And that's the only thing we have in the scripture it is just some references to the soldiers. But we don't know what the disciples were doing. We don't know what the women were doing. And we don't even know what Jesus was doing. I mean, there's some who believe he went and preached to the spirits in prison. That's in the Apostles' Creed. That's also taught in some traditions out of 1 Peter. But there are places to understand that that may not have been the case, and there are other ways to interpret those verses. I really don't want to go into all the, the different interpretations of where Jesus was on this day. He perhaps was in paradise with the thief on the cross. Remember, he said, today I will be with you in paradise. Maybe... Maybe it's, that's not the point. The point is, what are we doing on this Saturday? You know, Max Lucado calls this silent Saturday, when, when there was silence and, and there was waiting. And we've all experienced that. My goodness, what we've been through with the pandemic, is, it feels almost like we're waiting for something good to happen. We're waiting for a, a vaccination. We're, we're waiting for, you know, a cure. We're waiting for something. And maybe there's something in your, in your own life that you've been waiting for, something you've been praying for, something that you have been asking God to do and, and nothing's happened. So you kind of feel like you're in that silent Saturday. Sometimes we've waited for things and they haven't come and we think, God, what am I doing wrong? What's, what's wrong with me? Is it my prayer life? Is it I don't have enough faith? God, what is it? So yes, yeah, Silent Saturday, we, we understand those. We know what those feel like. Can't imagine what it felt like for them. But you see, you need to remember something about God. If I, if I, if I know anything about Him, I know this. When nothing's happening, something is happening. <laughs> when there is silence, believe me, something is happening. And I believe there was something happening on this Saturday because something incredible was about to take place. Yeah, it may be Saturday, but Sunday's coming. And so we even sing songs to remind us that, you know, when, when nothing's happening, God is working. Even when I don't see it, I know that you're working. Even when I don't understand it, I know that you're working. And you have to believe that on those silent Saturdays in your life when you're waiting for something. You have to believe that God is moving and God is working and one of the greatest days in history is about to happen. Tomorrow, we celebrate 
the resurrection. We've seen Jesus. We've walked with him. And thank you for taking that journey. We've seen him do incredible miracles. But the greatest is yet. And we celebrate that tomorrow. So I want to encourage you. If you're in one of those seasons of your life, if you're in one of those times where God is silent, it's a silent Saturday, you feel like you're, you're walking around in a cemetery. I mean, it's nothing but death and nothing but disappointment. And joy is missing and everything is missing. I just want you to hang on. Because our God is doing something. And God is going to make a difference. He's going to save the day. And wow, what a way he did it on Resurrection Day. Remember what the psalmist said. Yeah, weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. What a morning it's going to be. So on this Saturday, he is not silent. He is moving. He is working. And tomorrow, we will see a celebration. Yes, at home. Yes, different than what we've had in the past. But nonetheless, just as powerful. Because it doesn't change what happened on that day. In fact, it may be one of the greatest Easter's we'll ever remember. Easter at home. So in, rejoice. Be encouraged. It is not silent. Saturday. It's just the day before the greatest day of all, Resurrection Day. May the Lord bless you with an incredible Easter.